What up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be going over a new song by Vertical Worship called One and Only Jesus. Let's get into it. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. It helps out a ton. And also don't forget that you can find some of my own original songs out there on the interwebs. Um, just search for Nate Meist and you can find some of my stuff out there. All right, so you can't be mad about any song that makes Jesus the focus of the song. Vertical Worship just released this song back on January 28th. Um, of this year, obviously, <laughs> but um, it's a it's a great song, and I'm excited to teach it to you guys to learn how to navigate it on an acoustic guitar and just kind of break it down in general and to see what kind of chords that they're playing throughout this song. There are three things we'll be going over in this video today to help you learn this song. The first thing we're going to look at is the key that the song was recorded in, the key I'm playing it in, and the keys that you could do it in using a capo. The second thing we're going to look at are the strumming patterns. I'm going to give you three different strumming patterns that will get you through this entire song and break those down for you. And the third and final thing are the chords for each section of this song. As I play through each section one by one, you will see these handy little chord diagrams up here in the upper right hand corner um, that you can pause the video and study if you need to see my finger placement for the various chords that I'm playing for this song. As always, don't forget that you can skip ahead in this video. It is timestamped, so just click on the time bar at the bottom of the video and skip ahead to any section that you would like to learn. All right, so for key and capo placement, this song was recorded in the key of C. Uh, that key works really well for my voice, so that's the key that I'll be playing in today. Um, you could play in the key of C just with the open C position in standard tuning, which would be down here. I'm going to be using a capo in case you need to lower this song. Uh, so that would mean that my capo will be on fret number five. Again, if you don't know what frets are, they're these little silver bars and kind of the space before them. So you could put your capo either on right on the silver bar. Sometimes if you, you need to, if you have these really strong capos, <laughs> they bend the strings and make your strings go, make your notes go sharp. Um, or you could put it on the space right before the fret. And then if you play in what's called the G position, now you're in the key of C as well. But if you need to lower the key for any reason, it's super easy to do that now. Um, so if the key of C is too high for you, you could go down a half step, fret number four, with the, using the same uh, chord shapes that I'm gonna show you today in the G position, um, you'll be in the key of B. Go down one more fret, and that's the key of B flat. And one more fret, fret number two will put you in the key of A. So you can use your capo on any of those keys. Uh, just download your chord chart in the key of G um, and then follow along with the chord shapes that I'm going to show you today. Put your capo on any of these, uh, these frets and you'll be good to go. All right, so for these three strumming patterns, strumming pattern number one is going to get you through all the verses in the first chorus. Strumming pattern number two is going to get you through the rest of the choruses, those bigger choruses. And strumming pattern number three is going to get you through the bridge. Now, just a quick caveat for these strumming patterns, you're going to see that I don't follow them exactly to the T. You know, there are some like liberties that I take, you know, extra little strumming strokes that I put in there. Uh, but these are kind of the foundational patterns that I'll use to get us through this song. So this is strumming pattern number one, which again will get you through all the verses and the first chorus. So one, two, three, four. So as you can see, it's kind of like that galloping strumming pattern, like if you're riding a horse or something. Um, and it's all in the emphasis that you put on uh, the, the different strokes of the strumming pattern. As you can see, I wasn't just like, you know, that'd be 
not the right vibe at all. <laughs> but I gave it some taste and I, you know, really was methodical about, you know, the emphasis that I put on each stroke, you know. Some of those you can barely even hear, you know, but the rhythm is still there. Um, so why don't we break this one down and see exactly what I'm doing. So one, two, three, four, down, down, up, 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 down. And this is strumming pattern number two, which will get you through the other choruses, the bigger choruses. So one, two, three, four. So let's break that one down. So one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. All right, and this is strumming pattern number three, which will get you through the bridge. So one, two, three, four. All right, let's break that one down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. So the intro of the song, let's get into it and start learning these chords. Again, I will be calling out the chords for the key of G. We're not actually in that key. We're in the key of C, but positionally, we're in the key of G. And to help you out, I'm going to be calling out those chords specifically. So for this intro, we'll just be holding out that G chord uh, for two measures, and we will be using strumming pattern number one for this intro. Let's see what this looks like. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, verse. All right, verse one, we are continuing strumming pattern number one here. So one, two, one, two. I have been saved by the grace of God, amen, I have been raised. A future without end, I set my eyes on a true and loyal friend, the one whose life I'm hidden in. Chorus. All right, chorus number one, and we are continuing strumming pattern number one here. Let's do it. So one, two, three, Jesus, oh my hope in Jesus, love that never leaves us, you won't forsake us now. Verse number two, we are continuing strumming pattern number one here, and he jumps up an octave vocally. So let's see what this sounds like. So one, two, one, two. And I have a place in the family of my God will be named when the saints go marching on. Chorus number 
number two, and we are moving on to strumming pattern number two for this one. Let's do it. So one, two, one, two, three. Jesus, oh my hope in Jesus, love that never leaves us, you won't forsake us now, oh Jesus, faithful through the ages, of all section we are using our strumming pattern number three here or our bridge strumming pattern for this section uh, they play through this uh, bridge one time they do kind of a tag at the end which builds into the final chorus for that little uh that little vamp that little build i'm going to be using all down strokes as you'll see in a little bit so let's play through this bridge so one two one, two, three. Now to him be the glory who is able to do more than we could ask or imagine. Amen, amen. Now to him be the glory that his people shout his victory through all generations. This is the final chorus section. We are going back to strumming pattern number two for this one. And they kind of have some interesting chords at the very last line of this chorus, that kind of walk up feel. Uh, it's really, really cool uh, what they do here uh, chord wise. Uh, but let's play through this final chorus. So one, two, one, two, three. Jesus. by a vertical worship I really love this song um, it's a really powerful song you know those those songs that just kind of like you can play with just an acoustic guitar and it still has that power behind it and this is definitely one of those songs um, you know it's got Jesus written all over it it's super Jesus-y I would say that's a pretty good adjective for this song it's also super worshipy and as always as always with all of the songs that I teach it's crazy, and you know what? It drives me, it drives me crazy, to be honest with you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still watching, thank you. Thank you that you're here at the end of the video. Um, why don't you give this video a like if it helped you. Leave a comment down below. I wanna hear from you guys, and I hope that you're doing well. God bless you in all that you're doing at your churches, whether you're leading a small group or leading your Sunday morning, a church service, whatever it might be, God be with you guys, and I will see you in the next video.